George, what about you going live? I mean, what? what... Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable doing live. I can, I can chat back legs off a donkey, me, Do you know what I mean? So nah. I'm all right, but, but I do get nervous at events. Okay. Oh, right. You get nervous at events. But look, the reason I want to get on to this live subject, because I think it's massively important, because if you are not going live, certainly if you want to make a mark in the industry, not so much clients, but in the industry, I think you're going to get left behind a little bit here by actually putting your work, because there are people now who are going live and they are doing it extremely well. And the thing about going live is that we are all on a similar, we all have the same resources to actually do this now, don't we, uh, yeah. Jordana? You know, Facebook is allowing us, I don't know how many of you are aware, but I got a note, an email come through that Facebook are now setting up lives which you can monetize so you can actually post a live in your page and you will get and you charge a ticket fee for it and you will get paid wow. lives i tell you are going to be going huge so education is going to become so competitive as educators and i know many of you who are tuning in watching this are really really keen on being educators all right can you compete with all these lives that are going to be going on out there what's going to give you your uniqueness and i'll put that to george first because i know you know education you know are you willing to go live and charge for it on facebook yeah absolutely i do that anyway i've got online classes anyway i, I wanted to yeah but do education. you pay for people to have access to your group is that how it works so people pay to have just they, they pay me a one-off ticket price and they can watch it as many times as they like um, but that's because I want to make it accessible mm. to everybody. So I think, but I think it's like anything in it. Like the the cream always rises to the top. You you go if you go somewhere, you you research it and you decide who you want to be taught from. Yeah. Okay, Jordana, you've got your hand up there. What are you going to say? I just wanted to say that I I was um, I paid for George's class about must have been about nine ten months ago, almost a year ago, and it was amazing. It was oh, like, thanks, mate. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> but we, I think you had a technical blip at the start for like two minutes, and then it was it was just so good, and then you could watch it back, and it was really reasonably priced, and it was on balayage and like natural hair kind of colours. It was amazing. Yeah, no, I mean, it, this, this is because we saw lives go mad because everybody got on Zoom, didn't they? And they suddenly thought, well, actually, I can set up a Zoom and charge ticket prices for a Zoom call. But I think what is really interesting is Facebook are ripping up all that. And I know people are, and I know Cherie's done it, and that's what got me thinking about this. Cherie has her own private group that you pay, you, you can set up through PayPal, which, and then you go into that group. But now you can post an event like this, and people will pay to go into that event, which is brand new. And that's where I think it's gonna be, is this gonna affect the big powerhouses? Because we're gonna have so many places to go for our education now, like never before. Because before you went to the academies, didn't you, George? You you went to Tony and Guy, you went to Sassoon's, where now people are thinking, well, actually, I don't need to go to these because I've got, I'm a fan of Georgia Bell or Jordana Cabella. I love it, and do you know what? There's accessible. It's accessible. There's always two types of learners. I still personally, even though I, I'd like to think my online education is good or the online education that I choose is really good, I still like to go to an academy in person and I see it. And I feel like I learn so much more being with that person to pick up on someone's aura and the, the way that they teach me. You can't get that from a computer screen. What? So I think both types serve their purpose. Mm. And you agree with that, do you, Jordana? I'm I'm much more of a kind of yeah live hairdressing girl. What what uh, is it about however, actually being I in an academy? Learn. What what is it about being in an academy? What you're learning more because I could watch a live and actually have that video there to keep going back to whenever I want it. Where if I go to a course, yeah, it's a one-off. 
it will the, the difference is that when you're on the course someone will say your body position is wrong you're not holding the plat tight enough or you need to you need to stand above the client or and you see the finesse of a blow dry or the finesse of the way they work and you can, I don't know it's just energy I don't know and do you know what I also appreciate really hard work and a lot of people have worked really really hard to become uh, in the position of being an educator and I like to invest in people that have put in that hard work yeah. okay they're all agreeing so let me just ask you all watching academy online what would you prefer okay so you've got it at the same price will you go to the academy or will you go online are you prepared to travel and that's the thing but also all this live is surely making you become a more accessible educator like never before because i have to be totally honest you probably would not have ever had a chance of being an online educator without all these lives would, would you go with that jordana i mean what's what's your take on that I, I would say that I've become a Weller educator through my live education. Um, however, I do want to explore um, uh, digital education a bit more. I don't think I can do it on my own, so I'll probably only do it off the back of another company. Um, but, yeah, I think, I think they both have their place. They're definitely both um, different learning styles. One is a bit more practical, where you can actually try the technique in front of the teacher. Um, and also, what I love about going on courses and what I loved about them, the colour degree I went on is that you form other relationships with other hairdressers and you all talk about like the nitty-gritty details of salon life and then you bond and then you're like, you kind of just feel like there's a unity and it's really nice. And you can get that online community feel as well. But but nothing kind of beats it in person when you're talking to other, you know, hairdressers. Yeah. What well, What's your advice then, George? You You're very confident. You say that, right? And not everybody is confident in front of the camera. What does it take for you to be good and come over well on the camera? A load of practice and a load of presentation courses. But how, been, so you, you know, got to practice. Is that practice, practice going live? You should see some of my outtakes mate i've got them in abundance you know what i mean but and i've also invested a lot in in presentation skills that's really important um but yeah i think it's different different courses for different authors you know not everyone has the um luxury of being able to afford a, an academy sometimes they can be expensive so online is very good to be accessible to everybody okay well, oh. and it's a bit less scary isn't it when you're yeah. when you're like for example, George, if I if we if you did a rather than Sunday Sunday yoga with whoever, you did a Sunday balayar session with Georgia Bell, but we all had to have our own mannequins, and we were all on video, and you you talked us through it bit by bit. That would be amazing because it's a bit like we're all doing it together rather than me watching you in my gym jams and saying that I'm going to use that technique when I might not. But, but that's actually, a good idea. But you both come I, back from Color World. You've yeah. both been there at Colour World. Did it work? George, yeah? Yeah, yeah it worked. I think so. I think I think it was a, it was a new experience for everybody. Mm. Um, and it was just online, and I think it was different. It was very much, for me, being in a building with a lot of people that I admire within the industry, all showcasing live. So it was like what I was doing in lockdown, but on live TV, I suppose. Did it work for you, Jordana? Um, we'll soon find out because the figures will reveal themselves. So let's see. I think everyone's got seven-day access from now. So if you haven't got tickets, thirty-five pounds, guys, um, and you get access to so many classes, and it's seven-day access. So try and binge watch it all because, like Jack Howard was there. George's colour was amazing. You need to have a little look and hopefully if the numbers come back good then it did work out well but I was just going to say like even with you know I watch a lot of Syl Sylvester Sylvester's um, plaiting and like Effie Davis plaiting and if she could do like an online tutorial where you're doing it with her and you do it step by step I think that would count as like the best education because it's in the comfort of your own home you don't have to be in an academy some people feel really anxious going to academy um bright lights white walls you know and and you're not doing it on a model so you don't have to worry about hurting them or pulling their scalp and you're doing it together i think that would be amazing mm. that's yeah. the next big thing guys i did miss the prosecco bar though i've got to admit like that was the one thing that was very <laughs> you can, much you, lacking, you can have your own sort of prosecco <laughs> I think, look, everybody's sort of, you know, those, that, you know, they love watching Colour World. So what it's telling me is people enjoy sitting there on their screen watching 
online education. And I, I hear what you're saying about academies. I get it. I saw Kai saying, you know, would is Glastonbury the same as you know watching it on TV? Absolutely not. But I think we, I think this period has completely changed it. I have to be honest. I I just worry that some of these academy houses may now struggle to survive. George, you're you're saying no, but um... yeah, I still no. I'm sorry. I still think it goes down to independently because I'm doing two academy dates. I'm doing one in November. I'm doing one in January, and we're both almost sold out. 15 places, and they went straight away. And I'm very very thankful for that. So I don't think it has because I think there's a market for both. 